Welcome to the tutorial. S711 soft start a quick setup using the keypad. This tutorial shows how to use the quick setup menu to configure the S711 soft starter using the keypad with the parameters typical for a conveyor belt. It also shows the settings required for a start via the keypad and via the terminal strip. The content of this video includes Connecting the S711 soft starter, both the digital inputs and outputs and the power connection. Configuring the S711 soft starter using the keypad. Starting and stopping the S711 soft starter by command via the keypad and via the terminal strip. A typical connection of the S711 soft starter is explained below. The three-phase mains connection is made at the power terminals of the S711 located at the top via the mains contactor K1. The power terminals of the S711 for the three-phase motor connection are located at the bottom of the device. When connecting the motor, the S711 soft starter can be connected both in the connection type, shown on the left, inline and inside delta. In this tutorial, the motor connection inline is used. Depending on the variant selected, the connection of the supply voltage with 24 volt DC, as shown here, or with 110 to 240 volt AC is located at the bottom right. The terminals for a possible Modbus RTU connection are located in the center of the control connection terminals. To the right of the Modbus terminals are the four digital inputs whereby terminals 1 are used for the start-stop command and 2 for the enable-reset input. The inputs on terminals 3 and 4 can be used for optional functions. By default, digital input 3 is assigned pre-selection terminal strip operation and input 4 is assigned external fault as normally open contact. Any thermistor cable from the motor could be connected to the right of the digital inputs. There are connection options for three relays on the left-hand side of the control connection terminals. Relay K1, terminals 13 and 14, can be used to control a mains contactor, as shown here, or to control a circuit breaker. Relay K2, terminals 23 and 24, and K3, terminals 33 and 34, are freely programmable. By default, these two relays are assigned in bypass or error. When the controller supply voltage is applied, the factory set monitor display appears after a short time, showing the device status. The current value for the mains voltage is zero, as no voltage is yet applied to the device. The ready LED flashes as the device is not yet enabled. Press the right arrow button to access the main menu. Press the down arrow key to select the quick setup menu. Press the right arrow key to enter the password. In the factory setting, this password is 6x0, which is entered by pressing the right button six times. In the quick setup menu, press the down arrow button until the conveyor application appears. Then press the right arrow button. Now enter the rated motor current in the actual quick setup menu. The lowest value of two amps is always stored here by default. The motor power must also be entered in horsepower or kilowatt, depending on the region. The factory default values for the start mode with constant current and the start ramp time with 10 seconds are retained. In this example, the starting current of 200% is reduced to 100% for a smoother start. The proposed value for the current limitation is also reduced from 450% to 300%. If it were a heavy start, for example a fully loaded conveyor belt, the suggested value of 450% can also be used. Note. The values for the start current and for the current limitation refer to the set rated motor current and not to the rated device current. The stop mode with voltage ramp is retained. The stop time is increased to 10 seconds for a smoother rundown. After entering all data, pressing the back button several times returns to the standard monitor display. The S711 soft starter can be started and stopped both via the local and remote command source. With the local command source, it is started using the green button and stopped using the red button on the control unit. The flashing ready LED and the not ready information indicate that the hardware release on digital input 2 is still missing. 
In the factory configuration of the device, this hardware release is required for safety reasons. If the hardware is enabled, the ready LED switches to steady light. The motor, which is unloaded in this case, can now be started using the green button. The mains contactor is activated via the relay contact, terminals 13 and 14, and the soft start takes place with the set start time of 10 seconds. As the motor is already up to speed after six seconds, the S711 automatically switches to the internal bypass relay before the set start time of 10 seconds has elapsed. This is indicated by the LED in the EN switch. The ready LED at digital input 2 switch EN switches to steady light when the hardware is enabled, even when operating via the terminal strip. Digital input 3 switch A is used to switch from local to remote, which is indicated by a continuous light on the remote LED. The fifth monitor setting is shown on the right with a histogram of the current curve. When the start is enabled via digital input 1 run, the loaded motor starts up within 10 seconds. Successful startup is indicated via Relay K2, terminals 23 and 24, by means of the LED in switch EN. When the run command on digital input 1 is cancelled, the soft stop is initiated with a stop time of 10 seconds. Thank you for your attention. 